Real quick video here, just wanted to go over a couple of the lies, six lies, I chose that number for a reason. Post tribbers have to lie to support their position. Now if you're a post tribber, I just want to congratulate you for at least clicking on the video. Now I realize you probably don't have enough brains or spiritual discernment to get the whole way through, but try, okay? All right, uh, and yes, I'm going to be sarcastic because post trib, the whole teaching is very, very satanic. Uh, number one, they always say, I arrived at my position by just studying the King James Bible and going with what the King James Bible teaches. Well, if that's true, then why do you bring up John Nelson Darby? Or the Jesuits? Well, the Jesuits created the rapture. I thought you got your beliefs from the Bible. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, and, and the whole thing is, uh, many Bible believers have debunked this whole Jesuit Darby created the rapture thing, but even if they did, uh, the, the standard, if you're a Bible believer, is what does the scripture say? What does the Bible say? So the very fact that they'll come out and they'll say, I believe that uh, you know my studies from scripture show that uh, the pre-trib rapture is a lie. And then they'll bring up Darby and all this other stuff. There's no rapture before the 1830 and all this. Nonsense. Absolute lie. Lie number two, they'll say that the Holy Spirit showed them the rapture, but Jesus called the Holy Spirit the comforter. In John, cha John chapter 14. Well, uh, how is it a comfort to know that you're going to be facing God's wrath for seven years? That's not really a comforter. So why would the comforter, the Holy Spirit, show you that you're going to go through God's wrath? Problem. Number three, they'll say Jesus and Paul preached the same thing. That is another big lie. Um, where did Paul ever tell anybody that they have to endure to the end to be saved? Where did Paul ever warn anyone about not taking the mark of the beast? Kind of, uh, you know, a bit of an oversight there on Paul's part, wouldn't it be? Uh, no, Jesus and Paul did not teach the same things, okay? Paul teaches salvation by Jesus Christ, that's very true. But we're talking about different dispensations. And Jesus actually did, I will say this, in, in the book of John, there are many times when Jesus is referring to the church age and rules for Christians, John chapter 10, is about the rapture, not about the second coming. That's why they're all confused and going, huh? They don't understand what he's talking about. So there were times that Jesus did say what Paul was saying. But to mix up Matthew 24 with 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and 1 Corinthians chapter 15, that's a big problem. Again, post-tribbers will lie about that. Number four, post-tribbers make the claim that no cr true Christian would take the mark of the beast to cover up for the problem of eternal security, which is taught in Ephesians chapter 1 and Ephesians chapter 4, that you're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. And But Revelation chapter 14, verses 9 through 11, says if any man takes the mark, he goes to hell. So again, you have this post-trib system teaching that God could eventually be accused of lying. Hey, he says we're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, but yet if you go into the time of Jacob's trouble and take the mark of the beast, you get unsealed and sent to hell. Or he kind of overlooks the fact and takes you to heaven even though you've taken the mark of the beast. You see? You see the problem? Again, post-tribbers have to lie about this. Number five, post-tribbers claim that post-trib rapture teaching is the historic position of the church. Oh, okay, well that depends. That is true in one sense. It is the historic position of the Catholic Church. You say, oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Look it up. Look it up. Go to Google or any other search engine and type in what is the position of the rapture, or what is the position of the Roman Catholic Church on the rapture. And you'll see the same things. John Nelson Darby, 1830, blah, 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 blah. The Catholic Church has never taught a pre tribulation rapture. I'm using the terms of the whole system there. Okay, it's pre-time of Jacob's trouble catching away if you want the real one. They never taught that. The Catholic Church has always taught that the faithful will go through a t final time of purification. It's in the Catechism. Look it up. And again, I've shown it in my videos. Number six, the sixth lie of the post-tribbers is that they claim that pre-trib beliefs lead to apostasy and weak Christians. I love that one. That one's a fun one. Okay, a uh, very simple test that even a post-tribber can understand with their limited brain power. Um, the simple test goes like this. If the Lord said to you today that exactly one year from today, this very day, this very hour, the rapture is going to happen. You're going to be caught up. 
how would you spend your last year on earth? Now let's say that the same thing happens and the Lord says, a year from today, the exact same hour, the Antichrist is going to be revealed. And you're going to go through that time. The Antichrist is going to show up in one year. How would you spend your year? And now tell me which one leads to apostasy and compromise. All you survivalist post-tribbers that are getting ready to endure to the end, to be saved, and buying your survival supplies from info wars, and, and oh, what's the Antichrist doing? Oh, what? why don't you get out and win souls? Oh, there's no time. We've got to endure to the end to be saved. Oh, you see? You see? And I get, I'm getting real sick and tired of these stinking heretic post-tribbers, Sam Adams, Kent Hovind, a lot of these liars coming out and they attack and they'll, and they'll oh, it's, it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. Calling something that the Holy Spirit teaches through His Word, the catching away of the Bride of Christ before the time of Jacob's trouble, calling it a lie? That's very serious. It's extremely serious. But I'm just going to keep debunking it because it is a satanic heresy, the post-trib rapture thing, or what Christians go through any time, any part of it, absolute satanic heresy.